Hey, what's up? This is Ian, and um, this is Tom's Main deodorant, and I got this recently. It's the uh, Mountain Spring scent, and it says it's got 24-hour protection. It's got a new look. It's no aluminum. It's not tested on animals. Um, yeah, so these things sound good, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work very well at all, I don't think. I bought this before. I bought other ones, other natural deodorants before. Um, it doesn't work well. This here is not actually sour cream. It is my DIY sunscreen. My this DIY sunscreen works better as a deodorant than Tom's and Maine did. It does one day yesterday. I put um, put this on my left armpit and this on my right armpit, and, and it's been hot and humid lately. And at the end of the day, or I don't know, four or five o'clock, I was kind of done working. I smelled both of my armpits, and of course, armpit that I put this on, I definitely smelled worse. This one not so much. It's very Hot, sweaty day. This actually works really good. It has, you want to guess what it might have in it as an ingredient. Main ingredient, I think, the secret ingredient that makes it a deodorant is this, zinc oxide. So this contains zinc oxide, um, quite a bit of it, like it's um, like, you know, sunscreens. The, when you get a sunscreen, it's kind of got a real whitening effect to it. That's um, most likely zinc oxide. So the only disadvantage I could say of this as a deodorant to this is that, yeah, you're going to get some whitening. So if you're wearing a black shirt or, I don't know, it could maybe go through tight. Something wearing tight could go through or something. But otherwise, this works better. Um, this contains zinc oxide, shea butter olive oil and um the kind of dark chunks like it's not mixed up very well i made this like a year ago and so that also tells you it's not gonna go bad um, um what was it zinc oxide shea butter olive oil the dark stuff is i think if i remember correctly a mix uh there's just a little bit of carob powder and cocoa powder in it and i think that's it and yeah like i said works better than this um here's zinc there's a lot of benefits to zinc oxide um i have to look that up because i can't remember them right now but um i think it's like kind of anti-fungal anti-microbial um etc 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 and protects your skin from the sun um this these natural deodorants i think what they're selling is hope like these things sound good, but you know, I tried, I've tried some other ones before. It's not the first time I tried this one. I tried, um, another one I bought at the natural food store. It was like called like the best deodorant in the world or something. Kind of like a white container with real simple red letters, something like that. The best deodorant, best natural deodorant. I don't know. And it had one ingredient in it, which was like mineral salts. And like, that's cool. Like, like, but it didn't work very well. Like just like you wouldn't wear this if you're gonna go to the gym or something. Like, or maybe you're just like not a like stinky person. I never thought I was a very stinky person, but yeah, probably um, somewhat like like just like I don't know. You wouldn't wear this to jujitsu class. Like you wouldn't wear this to BJJ or judo or any sort of social gathering. Um, when it's hot out or if you sweat, I really don't recommend it at all. Um, exercise, you, or else you might not have many friends and no one's going to want to hang out with you. Um, so you need a real deodorant. And of course they might have, um, chemicals, but this, like I said, it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, homemade, buy this stuff, probably got it on Amazon. Um, and other natural one I tried, I thought was like a little bit better than this and a little bit better than that other 
best of the world one or whatever it was called was uh i think it's called crystal and it's also like a mineral salts deodorant and that was all right i remember the first time i think i tried it was in korea when i was living there but um it's okay like um but not still not a high performance deodorant like you're gonna have to wash and reapply like with this you're definitely gonna have to like wash and reapply frequently um like wash your pits and stuff and then put it on again like you're gonna have to do that a couple of times so then it's kind of like what's the point of wearing deodorant right but anyways this is ian hope things are going good have a good one